Hi, this is Taylor K. Arthur for the Mental Illness in the Family blog on Healthy Place. And I just want to take a moment today to, as the holidays start ramping up, to really talk to the mentally ill loved ones of the family and um, to encourage you to right away be talking to your psychiatrist and your therapist about how you're going to handle the holidays. I think it's easy to get sidetracked and get um, going on parties and planning and wrapping presents and buying presents and uh, making meals that we forget sometimes that this is probably one of like the most important time to go to the therapist and make sure things are really ironed out before the holidays um, get away from us. So um, just a few things I want to um, remind you to bring up when you're talking to your therapist or your partner or whoever is helping you maintain your mental health. Number one, how to decide what activities are important to be at and to prioritize those activities over a lot of other things. So if you decide that um, Christmas morning at your mom's is the most important thing, then maybe you'll need to take a look at your week and make sure that maybe Christmas Eve you're home in bed at a really decent time um, so that you are able to, to do what is most important to you. And when you are at that function, being able to succeed at it to be able to feel like you 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 know didn't um didn't let people down and you could be who you wanted to be at those events and then really um number two let a lot of things go um and and tell people up front um thank you for the invitation but i'm probably not going to be able to make it because i really have to just focus on staying level or picking one activity a weekend that's really important and um, building your weekend around that. Same thing as the idea of Christmas morning. I feel like when I do that, when I focus in on what is the most important to me about um, a holiday or, you know, a week off with my kids, like spring break, if I can look at myself and say, you know what, the most important thing is that I get up every morning with my kids um, and we spend an hour just um, hanging out on the couch together. When I prioritize that, then that becomes the thing that I um, succeed at. And then I feel like that week or that holiday went really well. So I just encourage you to um, look ahead and really search your heart to know what is what is really necessary for you for the holidays to feel like you've connected with people that you love and that you've succeeded in that connection and that you walk away from an event or you know a dinner or breakfast whatever that might be and feel like you you um, were able to contribute and take away what you needed from that so um, have a wonderful holiday season and remember that you are in control you can choose what you go to and what you stay home from and a Above all else, you can choose to take care of yourself and be mentally healthy during the holiday season. Um, have a wonderful time. This is Taylor K. Arthur with the Mental Illness and the Family blog on Healthy Place.